My name is Brad, and in today's DLS Quick Tip, I will show you how to install and use our integrated mobile soft phone application, Cloud Soft Phone. This phone is made by the great team over at Acrobits and empowers your mobile device with all of the capabilities of a work phone on the go whenever you need. As usual, we will start by logging into your PBX portal. At this point, we're going to assume that your Acrobits Cloud Soft Phone was enabled for your primary or mirrored extension by your PBX administrator. If you are that administrator, then know that the Cloud Soft Phone is configured in our user preferences for each extension by choosing the appropriate device type. To set up the Acrobits Cloud Soft Phone app, navigate to Apps, Cloud Soft Phone. We do this for two reasons. Firstly, to confirm that your PBX extension is configured to use the app. Secondly, to preview what the app and its icon will look like in your phone's app store. You should also note the username and password you will need to sign in to the soft phone, or keep the QR code handy to scan when prompted. On your Android mobile device, make sure you have a Wi-Fi or cellular connection enabled and open your app store. In the search bar at the top, type Cloud Soft Phone. Look for the gray icon that shows a phone and a cloud. The developer should read Acrobits SRO. Install the app, then open when finished. At the sign-in screen, type in the cloud ID and password found earlier on the PBX portal, or scan the QR code. Finally, read through and choose which permissions you would like to give the Cloud Soft Phone while it's installed on your mobile device. Once the app is installed and registered, you will see the default home screen with a number of options across the top and the dial pad front and center. At the top left is your soft phone's registration status. If colored green, your app is registered to the server. You can also tap this section to pull up an account details window, which shows registration status and allows you to enable Do Not Disturb mode. Tapping the three cascading dots at the top right will give you quick access to the settings menu. The favorites icon, represented by a star at the top left, will give you quick access to important contacts that you frequently work with. A tap on one of the names in this list will call out automatically to that contact, while a long press will open a window to let you choose other contact methods. By default, this page will pull from any monitored extensions that your primary extension is currently configured with. You can also add new names here by tapping the plus button at the bottom right. Here, fill in the name, extension number, and choose whether you'd like to enable the Busy Lamp field. Tap the check mark when finished to save. If BLF is enabled for a colleague in your favorites list, you will be able to see when they are on or off a call. The next icon to the right of favorites will give you access to your soft phone's call history. By tapping the current display at the top right, you can filter between all calls, missed calls, and recorded calls. To the right of call history will bring you back to the dial pad screen. The following icon will pull up all saved contacts, including company directory and your personal address book if you choose to import contacts from your mobile device. Finally, the last icon will give you access to the SMS feature. Note that SMS will only work if it has been previously configured by your PBX administrator. If you are interested in learning more on this, Check out the prior quick tip video in our collection on how to enable and configure SMS with your business phone number and extension. As always, thanks for watching.